uh, having showreel over the years, I've tended to just like do like little self tapes and stuff where um, if you're not getting seen, like for example, a couple of years ago, I, I didn't book an audition for Rock of Ages, the tour. And then, so I then filmed myself singing a rock song. But this was while I was on my old cruise ship, just in the theatre. And then my agent sent it through and then I booked an audition through the, through the self tape. Um, so I think if you don't have a show reel in terms of like, you don't actually have a, uh, the credits or anything because it's like how do you make a show real if you haven't worked yet just like get a good backdrop like hang a sheet up or something get a good light in and like sing a few songs or uh for the dancers like i don't know whether they have any solos or anything that they can use make use of the space at sage film that um yeah but it's super easy, like you don't have to pay a lot of money. I just literally did it on iMovie. In terms of show reels, it's so important just to... It doesn't even have to be like a show reel of you on stage with doing this in like 20 clips. It just needs to have a few clips of you as a vocalist, from a vocalist point of view. Good quality, high quality sound, polished, looking good, singing songs that suit your voice. You can show off vocally and um, it's, it's just, I think, quality over quantity. Because you can't get an agent without a showreel. You can't get a showreel without the content and the footage that you need an agent for. So it's very much like the chicken and the egg thing. So I um, I always tell actors, like like actors who are first trying to like come into the industry, um, to go on a site called Mandy.com. It used to be called Cast and Call Pro, uh, but now it's called Mandy.com. And if you go on there, you can, um, you know, kind of connect with other like aspiring actors, filmmakers. There's loads of students doing um, like student films on there, low budget films. And that's how I kind of started uh, building up my showreel. You can definitely get hung up on, you know, I think we're all perfectionists. And sometimes you just have to snap out of that and think, OK, deal with what you've got because it's never going to be perfect. Um, I, I didn't really have a showreel for my first, you know, straight out of college. Um, I was mainly just going to auditions and stuff. However, my last three jobs, my last two jobs I've gotten from a showreel. You need to, sh you need to show a little bit of everything in your showreel, which is hard when you're in college because you tend not to have any footage, but get in a studio, a combination that, you know, Laura or Gina has done with you, ask them permission of, you know, can I use this in my showreel? I'm sure they'll say yes. Get them to film it in the, you know, really a showreel is just showing people if, that aren't in the room that you've got talent or that you can do what they want you to do. Um, so whether it's some floor work um, or 20 seconds of a combination, it doesn't have to be 10 minutes long. My the first show, show reel I made was just over a minute, a minute because I didn't have much footage, but it had everything that it needs to be. You know, casting directors don't have hours on end to be watching three-minute show reels from beginning to end. They will literally skim through and think, yes, 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 no, no, no. Um, yeah, short and sweet, basically. Is my show reel, like I've not really had um, a show reel where I, I have clips from like lots of different jobs purely because a lot of my jobs, uh, there was no cameras allowed and stuff, so I didn't really get a lot of footage. But this year, being on a ship, every time someone came on, I was like, will you film it? Or film it from this different angle, so just on their iPhone. So, um, like my time off that I've had this, uh, since being home, I literally just did it on iMovie. Caught like lots of different angles, um, spoke to one of my friends who's good at that kind of thing and uh, put like a two and a half minute video together because that's all you need really. I think that's the, the time on Spotlight as well. So when when I apply for singing stuff, um, they ask to see footage of me singing and I'll I'll put together like three or four um, snippets of, of me in a studio live, but it's high quality, make sure it's high quality so they can see your face, they can see you performing, they can hear good quality sound. It'll impress them. Don't just give them like you in your bedroom and your iPhone, like 
spend a little bit of money. Like I was surprised at how much, um, it, how many agents replied because in the past I've written to 30, 40 and got two replies. This time I wrote to like about seven and got about five replies just from sending like a, a showreel that I made literally on my iPad.